Hello again, this is Ivan Harris Sr. I'm here today with a very, very, very serious message. Are you a dreamer? Are you a person of vision? But you're stuck because you're stuck in this idea that so many people are talking against your dream and they're speaking negatively against your dream and you're wondering why some of the people closest to you are saying such negative things and you're striving to overcome that. I'm doing this video just for you to let you know one simple thing. They're not supposed to understand your dream. You know why? Because it's yours. It's yours. It's yours. It's your dream. People that lack vision and have no vision do not understand your dream. It's your dream to take, to hold, to shape, and to mold. It's yours. Nobody else on the planet can bring your dream but you. Nobody has that special something but you. And so when you're looking at that and understand, see, look around you. Look at the people who have created things. Remember the Wright brothers? Oh, they laughed them to scorn, I'm sure when they talked about men flying in the air, but guess what? They're not laughing now, are they? Because we see planes all the time. People see it now and just take it for granted. Understand your vision or your dream is yours. And that's why they don't understand it. And they never will. See, you got to understand this. When you are a visionary, or a person of vision, the only people that are going to understand that are fellow visionaries, people that have dreams just like you. Question, if you're an eagle and you're striving to soar, why are you hanging around chickens? No pun intended. But why are you hanging around chickens? Chickens don't know how to fly. They don't know how to soar. They can only hop up in the air for a minute and fall back to the earth. No, if you want to learn how to soar, you got to go hang out with eagles. Eagles that know how to get on the high lofty peaks and they know how to float above all of the madness and the foolishness of the world. That's where you want to hang out. You want to hang out with the eagles, fellow eagles that will teach you how to soar high, that are talking the same language that you're talking that know how to climb and know how to fly and know how to soar. Don't expect chickens and people who are pecking on the ground and they're just surviving in life. They don't even really know where they're going in life, but yet you know where you're going. See, you're in the top 5%, Bro Nightingale says. See, don't be like a lot of people who've taken their goals and their dreams and their talents to the graveyard, as Les Brown talks about. The richest place on earth, the graveyard. Your dream has to come out. Don't you understand? It's imperative that your dream comes out. Think about it. If the Wright brothers would not have dreamed, we'd still be walking around. We wouldn't be flying. So that's why I say your dream, it's unknown right now, but once it becomes known, now everybody will know it. Why? Because it's yours and you brought it. Nobody else could bring it. So you see, your dream, you, you are imperative. You're special. As Les Brown always says, you've got greatness in you. Understand that. That's not just a statement. It's true. Your dream is imperative. It's imperative that you and only you bring your dream to the table. Don't you dare let anybody stop you from attaining your dream. Nobody can stop you but you. Talking never, never stopped anybody. Oh, it hurts, yeah. It hurts when spouse, when children, when parents tell you, oh, why don't you go get a real job? You're not going to ever work with that stuff. It's never going to work. It's not going to work. Listen, you cannot stop because a few naysayers or dream stealers are trying to steal your dream. Don't you dare let anybody stop you. Don't you dare let anybody steal your dream. You're greater than that. You have power within you that God has given you. You have a God-given talent and ability that's within you. 
Don't let anybody stop you from your dream. Be relentless. Don't stop until you get it. It's there. It's yours. It's right in your grasp. And with God's help and strength and power, you can do it. It's 2015. You sat on your dream long enough. Les Brown says he stopped dreaming for 14 years. He let people stop him. And in fact, he said, I stopped myself. The two biggest people that you've got to overcome mainly is yourself and then others who try to tell you you can't do it. But guess what? I'm here to tell you. Listen very closely. You can do it and it can be done. This is your time. 2015, say that. This is my time. I've waited long enough. No more procrastination. No more waiting. Take your dream by the horn. Take life by the horns. Grab it, take hold of it, and say, I'm not going to stop until I get to my dream. This is your time. I want to help you reach that dream. Anything that I can do, I call myself the value creator. I want to help you create the value that I see in your life. You've got so much potential. You are full of potential, and it's all there waiting to just be released. This is your year. Don't let anybody, don't you dare let anybody stop you from having your dream. It's your time. What will you do? Will you get up from where you are right now? And whatever dream you've been, you've been sitting on, get up, take it, and move with it. It's your time. I'll end right here. I believe in you. You've got greatness more than you could even imagine. Don't let anybody steal it. Take care. God bless you. And have an amazing 2015. Bye-bye.